Rumble. do that. Which guys, have, make a Rumble which account, guys. To, yeah, yeah, guys, do me a favor. Yo, if you guys really rock with us, you like guys like this kind of content, bro, I want y'all to go on Rumble.com, Rumble.com slash Fresh and Fit. Make an account. It takes two seconds. You can make a under a fake account, and then bam. All right? It lets you super chat and everything on there. Go ahead, caller. Hit us. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah. I, uh, well, this is my first. Uh, I sound pretty nervous, but I watch you guys show all the time. Hit us with the I question. I definitely appreciate you guys. Hit us with um, the question. Um, um, okay, so um, I'm 23 years old, and uh, Myron, I hear you all the time talk about, like, in your 20s, you shouldn't really focus on girls and stuff like that, you know, just sit in the gym and try to get your money up. Like, yeah. being 23 years old, like, is there is there a reason, like, I should never, ever, like, even try to get with a girl we never said that. in my 20s? Like, we never said that. I, huh? We never said don't ever get with girls in your okay. 20s. We said that it needs to be uh, something that isn't the main priority in your 20s. In your 20 is where In your 20s is where you build up the foundation to build your legacy. A lot of you guys spend way too much time chasing ass and chasing girls in your 20s, and that sets you up for failure in your 30s and 40s. Matter of fact, if you right. it, matter of fact, if you um if you actually look at a lot of the guys that are failures in life that aren't where they want to fucking be, nine out of ten times it was drugs, alcohol, or chicks that put them in that bad predicament. So what I'm saying is that when you're young and you have the most energy, the most vigor, that's when you need to be focusing on building up your empire. I'm not telling you not to go ahead and still get girls in your 20s. You need to, to some degree. You need to understand female nature and get out there and experiment. But my issue is that when it becomes a priority for everything that you do. Mm, no, that, that was that, that was that was uh, that was uh, built, uh, that was uh, done. That was my bad. I'm uh, I'm all over the place. That was uh, perfectly said. You know, I just appreciate you guys. You know, like even during this year around June, I was around like 260, 259, and now away around 219. You know, cool. so. I definitely appreciate you guys. Just, How tall you know, are you? Telling people the truth and huh? How tall are you? Uh, I'm around five nine, five ten. Yeah, you fat as fuck. You need to get down to around one sixty, one seventy. <laughs> oh yeah, nah, that's the goal. That's the yeah, goal. Yeah, that's the no, goal. Absolutely. Like I said, I was around two sixty. You know, I'm, see, I'm there, there you go. There's, so so, I'm, so I'm, number I'm one priority. Number one priority for you. You need to fucking lose weight. Fuck girls. You need to lose weight. Yeah. See, that's and that's what I'm talking about. Is that you need to like depending on where you are in life. That's where your priorities kind of come. But typically, mm -hmm. it's self-improvement, getting in the gym, getting your money up, et cetera. But for you, like, it's not even priority number one. It's priority A. You need to lose weight. You're obese. Mm -hmm. No, I appreciate that. That's the truth. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to it, and I'll be in the gym tomorrow morning. So, and I'll you tell know, you this for one it. last thing. But the, the reason why I tell you guys to do this work up front with going to the gym, getting your money on point, learning under a female game or whatever, is that when you learn this stuff up front, it makes life easier when you deal with the girls eventually. Because what happens is if you chase the girls right now as a fat fuck, you're going to have to put in way more work. You're going to have to do way more shit to go ahead and get the same level of respect and or attention that you otherwise would have got if you had just done the work on yourself in the first place. So you do the work up front so you don't have to do much work when you actually meet the girl. You understand? Yeah, it's funny. Like, I never put fitness as a priority in my life ever. Um... Maybe a little bit, but not that, that much. Stupid. But now to put in the work, like I was like, oh my God, you look so good. Like you look way better. Like I see you in the gym. It's like an extra layer of like, you know, attraction. So I would say like Myron said, put in the work when you when you can right now. So when you meet the girls up front, it'll be a way, way better experience for you. And not only that, bro, like, yo, you guys, you guys want to know why? Like when, when girls like disrespect me on the show or when I'm on a date with a girl, I say the things that I do or, and I'm very candid and frank about the things that I, that I say and I don't give a shit, it's because I've put the work in in the fucking gym. When you put the work in in the gym, guys, you're not going to let people speak to you or operate in a certain way because you hold yourself to another standard, okay? I posted this shit on my Instagram story yesterday. When you don't accept mediocrity from yourself, you refuse to accept mediocrity from other people, okay? This is why, you know, when I'm in there, you know, busting my ass, you know, bench pressing 225 when I feel like shit after doing 30 sets of exercises already, right? That character building set that I talk about all the time, that set right there, is the set that divides you between all the other fucking losers. Like these YouTubers that talk shit about us, make hit pieces, whatever. You look at them, triple chin, fat as fuck, talking shit, making reaction videos. Like no one fucking respects y'all. Nobody takes y'all serious. I want respect and you get that respect by respecting yourself first and putting the work in the fucking gym when no one's fucking looking. Guys, I only record some of my workouts, but I'm in the gym almost damn near every day, right? And the championships are made when people aren't looking. That's what the fuck happens. Like, you guys don't see half the things that go on behind the scenes for us to be able to make this show, make it as smooth as it is. But I got that discipline from going to the gym and working when other people fucking don't. All right? And when you work when other people don't, you're not going to accept fuckery from other people when they would. 
Do you understand? So when I'm on a date with some bimbo 21 year old and she says something stupid to me, I have the fucking balls to look at her dead in the face and be like, don't talk to me like that. Then that comes from a place of congruence and true uh and uh and reality because I've worked there, I've done shit, I've been, I've I've competed at Division One level, I've arrested uh, you know drug traffickers, I've arrested terrorists, I've done real shit in life. So I don't let fucking idiots that haven't done shit in life disrespect me. And you get that from becoming a somebody in the gym first. The reason why I'm so big on the fucking gym is because you learn character traits that you can't learn anywhere else. You versus fucking you. If you can't beat yourself, you can't beat the fucking world. That's how it goes. That's why when I see fat people, I automatically know you have some zero discipline. You're a fucking loser. You need to fix yourself first before you can demand excellence from anyone else. The reason why I demand excellence from women and a certain type of treatment is because I expect that self of myself so I can demand that shit from the motherfuckers I deal with. I don't accept mediocrity from myself, so I refuse to accept it from anyone else. And when you're a fat piece of fucking shit, you can't demand that excellence from anybody else because you don't even demand it from yourself. That is why I'm so big on not being a fat piece of shit. You understand? You being fat is an outward manifestation of your own physical efforts and your discipline, which fucking lack. All right? I'm telling you, bro. When you're fucking sitting there doing squats, bench presses, lunges, feeling like shit, still going through, you are not going to accept fuckery from other people. I promise you, you won't. That's why I'm able to say the things that I say with zero fucking reservation. Bitch, that sounds stupid. Get the fuck off my show because I know who the fuck I am. And I'm not going to tolerate fuckery from bitches. Fuck out of here. Anybody. Someone comes in at this Perfect. fucking place talking shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Nigga, I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to go get my Glock and I'm going to end your life if you step in here. What you going to do? Oh, shit. And they fucking left. I did the talking Perfect. in the gym, yeah, so I don't fact. need to talk when I'm outside. And I want you guys to hold yourself to that same fucking standard. That's how it goes. You do your talking in the fucking gym, so when you go out into the real world, there ain't no talking. There's none. This is what it is. Take it or fucking leave it. But you only learn that discipline going to the fucking gym and fighting against yourself every single fucking day. You first you. Whether you're in the gym, whether you're eating food, making sure you get enough protein, having that discipline, you're not going to tolerate fuckery from other people when you don't tolerate it from yourself, man. And that's for everybody. That's not just for the caller, but that's for all y'all out there. All right, caller. No, 100%, bro. Nah, that's, that's the truth and that's facts. Nah, I appreciate that. All right, cool. Cool. All right, man. All right. Shit. Right, take, take take the advice then. 